Josh, thank you. And hang on. I want to head over to Chicago now where Bob Iacchino is standing by. He's the founder of TraderInstinct.com. And Bob, uh, we're going to hear from Ben Bernanke in a few moments. What could he say? We are. I know. Outside of saying, look, I'm going to I'm going to launch quantitative easing. <laughs> what uh, what more can he say that could affect the markets? Because we know he's not going to say that. Well, I mean, can we ask him to? It's kind of funny because, you know, the, the issue that I have with the market right now from a perspective, I take all my technicals out and I'm just looking at it from a macro fundamental perspective. The market relies on the Fed to be the middleman in between good corporate balance sheets in the U.S. and a, an economy that has the potential to fall off a cliff here with the fiscal cliff and all of the downward revisions in GDP. So you see these weak economic numbers and we rally because we think the Fed is going to keep pumping the economy. But that pumping has only kept us between one and two and a quarter GDP. And I know that's a wide range, but that's all it's done. So it's really kind of a status quo trade. You've got good corporate balance sheets. And as long as the Fed keeps pumping the prime, so to speak, or priming the pump, um, you'll see these equities continue to sort of lean higher. But there's a middleman in between it. And it could really hurt the economy if he doesn't say yeah. rather the markets if he doesn't say that. Bob, speaking of status quo, we've gotten a lot of eco data out this week, a lot of it kind of mediocre. What's the take on the trading floor from that? Well, again, the mediocre data, all it's doing is triggering in trader minds, okay, well, the Fed is still going to be active. They could be more active. So that means, again, easy money for U.S. corporations, a little bit weaker of a dollar. The stronger dollar, if you look at like the dollar index, for example, the dollar index has rallied since about July 2nd or so pretty sharply, and that's when the equities kind of came off. So if you can see more priming of that pump, more dollars being out there, and the weaker data that you mentioned is what triggers in traders' mind that that's going to continue to happen. So they continue to trade the equities from alongside. The equities are forming a basing pattern. We're kind of in between patterns right now, but the lower, the higher lows are much Deeper than the lower highs are. Hey, Bob and Josh, let me ask you. You had Goldman Sachs report earlier this morning. Profit fell less than estimated. Would you be buying the big banks right here? I don't know if I'd be buying the big banks. Believe it or not, I kind of like Goldman Sachs up to about 104.63 or so. I think it has the potential to get there with the fact that their revenues were lower. But like Goldman always does, they seem to find uh, a silver lining and, and they beat estimates even with lower revenues. I like the regional banks because, again, we haven't heard much about Europe this week, but it's still out there. And the regional banks don't seem to have that that big drastic dip when there is bad news. You look at like a Bank of Hawaii or even a PNC or a BB&T, you can see that when they collapse, collapse isn't even really the word. When they sell off, they kind of stabilize and base, yep. and then they rally higher when the market goes higher. Bob, thank you. Bob Iacchino from TraderInstinct.com at the CME. And up next.